Hi, I'm Angela Herrera. I'm Carolina Morantes. And we are here at the Wyndham Orlando Resort for the annual FSPA competition. Orlando is known for its big attractions, and FSPA is no different, with many opportunities for student journalists. This year, students will be able to emerge, expand, and evolve. And they will grow through the branches of journalism. <laughs> serves as an important competition for student journalists, it doubles as a place to show your passion. Here's a glimpse into Jose Otero's drives and passion. Passion is everything here at FSPA. It seeps out of the students and judges alike. But particular individuals, such as Jose Otero, a Herf Jones representative, is committed in creating the future generation of student journalists. Well, I began my love for journalism in 1985 on my middle school yearbook staff. And from there, I moved on to my high school yearbook staff where I had opportunities just like at FSPA to be part of something bigger. It really gives me satisfaction that I really started at a young age with the basics of journalism and I could use technology today to work with the future journalists. It actually gives you experiences in like real world situations. So when you do go to college or you do get your job, it's, um, you have this experience from being in a journalism program in high school that you wouldn't have had if you just did all AP classes. So it really helps being a part of working with students at seeing how they take this thing that we call journalism to the next level. I hope that school reach their climate of excellence is what I enjoy about my career in particular. And with my experience, it's, it's amazing I can share that with students and help them develop their skills to take it to the next level. Jose Otero spreads his passion across the seas when he visits Cuba and brings them the first yearbook they've had in over 50 years. Uh, the joys of bringing that book, all the old ladies and old men brought the, their old yearbooks to the same school. I looked on Noario's back, the yearbook's back, and it was very, like, very, very um, fulfilling for in my career that it's been a dream to give back to where my roots come from. It's a small little book, but it's a powerful publication, what it stands for. Two family members coming together to make a yearbook for a country that hasn't had one for so long. The opportunities here at FSPA are endless, but they're only made possible by the amazing work of those helping to emerge, expand, and evolve the world of journalism. Reporting for FSPA News, I'm Hunter Padilla. FSPA is a great place for aspiring journalists to expand their horizons, learn, and develop important skills. Melissa and Gabe went around to see what students had to say. Hey FSPA, I'm Gabriel Cardenas. And I'm Melissa Lopez, and, and welcome, welcome to the 2018, 2018 FSPA, FSPA convention. convention. Like a seed in the ground, blossoming into a flower. Students here at FSPA expand their roots and begin the transformation as aspiring journalists. Through the classes and through the different activities we have, students are able to learn more and actually grasp what journalism is and what you should be doing in order to create better journalism and a, have a better publication. From my freshman year to now, I have seen myself grow and become more of a design um, oriented journalists and through this conference I've been able to expand. Filmmaking and videography has helped me as a person because it's been my dream since the age of six and I really want to go forth with that dream so if I go farther with it and evolve and let it expand on me then I can achieve the dream. In order to actually emerge and expand you need to see a ton of different perspectives and a ton of different views on a certain issue and um, take it within and use it constructively. Well, I think the biggest thing is practicing your skills and then when you get back to your school, making sure you keep going. Keep using everything you learn here, um, making sure that that evolves back at your school. And then you guys are kind of the student leaders now. So you've got to bring that back to the underclassmen and make sure they keep moving with this. We are at the opening ceremony where FSBA is grinding its official beginnings. A journalist has to always be able to adapt, which is evolve. A journalist always has to be able to grow, and a journalist always has to be able to uh, be willing to step into new situations. And so this year's theme was actually perfect. Well, the first day of the convention is coming to an end. That's it from us, reporting for FSPA News. I'm Melissa Lopez. And I'm Gabriel Cardenas. See, See you next, next year. year. Every year there's a lip sync battle held after the opening ceremony. Here students can show their passion for music and dancing around with friends. Here at FSPA's annual lip sync battle, we get to watch students diverge from their uptight competitions and have a little fun on stage. Like our routine went exactly as planned and we all just like brought it. Like we all wanted to be sassy and that's what we were thinking before we went on and 
we just did it. So it was super fun. Like, I'm so excited we got to compete. I think we did really well. We've been choreographing for the past, like, two days, and we really wanted to bring a lot of sass in our A game, and I think we did just that. We picked the song because it was fun, it was enthusiastic, and, like, everyone knows it. So, like, and there was a lot of movement, so we know we could dance around. So, yeah. Uh, it was rigged, basically. <laughs> it was so rigged. Uh, honestly, we were the fiercest girls out there. Uh, we performed. We we shook our hips real well. We did just like we practiced for the two years prior. Uh, I'm just disappointed in the result. I just knew we won, but uh, the judges didn't think so. We were really happy that we placed. I know that was our big goal at FSPA this year, but um, I'm just overall really happy with our performance. Tonight, students got to show their creative side by dancing along to some of their favorite songs. Reporting for FSPA News, I'm Jonathan Gonzalez. Just no, not your feet, man. You can't do that. You can't do that to the store. Every year, tens of schools are tempted by the cool blue waters of the Wyndham Resource Pool. But these waters are deadly, as any contestants who experiences this refreshing concoction of chemicals will be disqualified from their events. This is not a private everyday Wyndham gift. If a competitor is found frolicking in the pool, they will receive full penalty for the powerful wear. Disqualification may lead to pregnancy-like nausea, projectile vomiting, explosive diarrhea, back pains, migraines, arthritis, baby-like crying, PTSD, and in rare cases, death. The Wyndham will not tolerate any violators. As always, FSPA was a lot of fun and had learning experiences for everyone from 6th to 12th grade. Don't forget to keep applying what you've learned to keep evolving. Reporting for FSPA News, I'm Carolina. And I'm Angela Herrera. See and you next year.